Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. Sagittarius, we're using my new deck, although I'm almost through the zodiac. Here we are, second last. Some people call it a kipper. I, whoops, wow, that's funny. The main female got like chucked to toil and labor. <laughs> Anyways, I call it my kippa, my kippa deck. My kippa deck is ready to go. I've got, um, my modern spellcasters tarot and my teeny tiny everyday witch. I'm going to use these three decks, Sagittarius, to do a reading for you. So let's get started. My little dog Lily is here. I got a new dog bed on the weekend because, anyways, the cat was taking over the other one. <laughs> so she likes this one. It's right here beside me. She's so cute. I love her so much. I don't know. <laughs> Look at her, and I think she's going to be seven in May. Where did that go? I got her when she was eight weeks. Oh, my God. The baby. I remember the first time. I'm feeling all nostalgic about the dog. Maybe you're feeling nostalgic about your pets or something. That's funny, huh? That was the first time she went to eat when we brought her home. And she just stood at the bowl, this little tiny puff ball of a thing and she cried and she cried i thought why is she crying and i thought i realized she's never eaten by herself before right like her litter mates and her mom so i got right down on the ground with her <laughs> i've been there ever since right really yeah such a good girl okay that's enough of nostalgia i keep hearing the cat he's so strange focus cindy here we go all right the sagittarius we're gonna do a six card spread with the kippa a six card spread with the kippa. <clears throat> Community. Bad health. That's interesting. Coffin. I'll tell you something though. Okay, it doesn't, I mean, it could be. It could be somebody's bad health is about to come to a, an end in a, you know, a final way. Um, but, what I'm getting here, if there's something toxic in a community, there's something to something toxic within a community that's coming to an end. That's the strongest message that I have here. More than like somebody's health, it, it could be. It honestly could be somebody's health within the community. It is taking a turn for the worse. But I think you would probably already be expecting that. I don't think in a general reading here on YouTube anyone is meant to be surprised or get news like that um it really does feel like if there was something toxic in a community that is final over that toxicity is gone i'm up here <laughs> in the little butter community toil and labor i told you i'm upstairs i gave you your food i don't know where you were when everyone else was eating <laughs> Toil and labor in the community. Wow. Gosh, right? Like, this kind of feels like, um, okay, A, not being appreciated. Somebody or something not being appreciate, appreciated in a community. Um, it kind of toxic. That's coming to an end. Bad health. High honor. Wow. Coffin. Expectation. This is a, like a reversal of uh, i wanted to say for oh that's funny i was gonna say a reversal of fortune we have a ton of underlying cards but like the first one is great fortune but it's like a reversal of i don't know you know um the best way I would describe it, so in simple forms, I love to do my little metaphors and analogies. This is almost like you could say, okay, let's say this community, because we have toil and labor, it could have been like a work community, it could have been a workspace, it could have also been like even a volunteer. I just think of my mom, she volunteers at the food bank in her community every week. Um, and you know, you kind of what you're going to be doing is kind of up to who's running things, you know? So it kind of has that feeling like there could have been, um, 
something in the community. Like you could have had a boss or you could have had a supervisor or there could have been someone in the neighborhood who was exceptionally toxic or they had a way of getting people on board to do projects for them. But you always got, I want to say it's your reading. So let's say you, you always got kind of shafted here. You always were the one doing the most work and getting the, being the least appreciated I was like, boy, you know what? This is toxic. I do the best that I can. Um, I keep my head down. I work hard, but all I get is shot upon, <laughs> shot upon. And then, but it feels like, like almost like a reversal of fortune. Like, oh, that person moved. So there's a new person in charge of the community garden or that boss got transferred to that supervisor. Like just something's happened here so that all of a sudden where something felt toxic, there's more like a high honor, but what's really funny is like this expectation card that sits here. This is almost like somebody observed this happening to you. And now there's an expectation to kind of show appreciation for what you were toiling at or what you toil at. Mm. And then it's funny, right? I was going to say a reversal of fortune. You have great fortune, child. Great fortune, child. I feel like God is talking to you. You have great fortune, child, and sudden wealth. Look at this. Look at that. I don't know. You got a big underline. I'm not done. You have great fortune, child, sudden wealth, message of concern, pathway, official person. Funny, funny, funny. Okay. This underline is also playing that little thing in my head here. Okay. This is as if an opportunity comes your way. You know, an opportunity. This is a pretty good one with great fortune. But it's the underline. So that's kind of the reason why we're here. We're talking about this. Is that because it's something that's already happened? It's something that's in process of happening or it's something that's about to happen? I don't know. But to me, the underline is kind of the whole reason for the reading. That's why we're here. So some sort of great opportunity. And what's really funny is it feels like it comes to you through a child. Like maybe you're walking through the mall and oh, not that I would want to do this with my child, but you know, to each, each their own and whatever you want to do. But like someone approaches you and says, oh, your child would be perfect for children's modeling or something, you know. And it almost like it brings sudden wells, but then there's this message of concern that comes with it, right? Like it's, a fortunate opportunity that is somehow brought to you through a child and this becomes sudden wealth right there's no there's actually no coins coming out of this great fortune it's just raining down are these four leaf clovers golden four leaf clovers right it does have that feeling of being at the right place at the right time and then um it pays out. Somehow it pays out financially. But the message of concern and a pathway to the official person. This is like some information comes your way that concerns you. And your, your direction with this is to seek out, I want to say, additional advice. It's very specific. These have been very specific this week. And I guess maybe I should expect that because, you know, we're dealing with very finite kind of meanings with these, although they do speak with each other in turn. So I'm not sure how that leads into what I'm seeing here. But I really get a feeling like somehow there's some connection here with a child. Maybe you take a child to a daycare and you meet um, somebody that you're going to create a business with, you know, like it's just it kind of has that weird feeling or maybe it might not, might not be your child. It could be um, you could be the person somewhere and someone's kid runs up to you in a mall and oh, so my kid, what's going on and the, the parent to that child comes up to you like it's like it's like that somehow. And then this message of concern, I'm wondering what that was. 
because this almost looks like you go to someone with some sort of official standing to get advice from them. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. And I will pull cards on those, those tarot. I will pull tarot cards on those. Um, but yeah, so how that ties into this, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe they're two different readings. Um, but yeah, there's definitely someone who's put an awful lot of work into something here it, within some sort of community-based environment. Um, it, yeah, it might have even cost somebody their health. It... I'm really trying to stay away from the, this bad, bad health leading to coffin because it seems so obvious, right? But I think part of the art to reading tarot is also trying to open up your intuition. And if you're empathic, which I'm very empathic, which it's thank God finding something I can do with it. This doesn't feel detrimental to my life. Um, I'm not getting that. Like, I'm just not getting that, you know, to look at this. It seems so obvious. But it's just energetically, it's not the message. It's something coming to an end here that was very toxic and expecting to pay sort of high honor. So either you're expecting to pay high honor to someone or um, someone is expecting to pay high honor to you. Where something may have been toxic before. So let's see. If you are dealing with someone, because um, I did mention it, it's a tiny bit there. It's just not, it's not the main message. It is a tiny, tiny, tiny incremental bit there. Um, but this is, you're already expecting this. There's somebody here that is not well and you are expecting them to pass. They will pass well. I'm really getting that with high honor. It is. If this person will pass, if they've been suffering, they will not be in a period of suffering when they pass. They may be asleep. They may be on some morphine. I don't know what it is, but this is, they will not feel suffering as they are passing. They will feel quite comforted. They will also pass um, feeling quite accomplished with life, like feeling like, you know, there wasn't much that they didn't do that they wanted to do. So that's actually a very nice message, but that's literally like you know someone's ready to go here that's what that is so i wouldn't want to fail at giving that message because i kind of think that's you know a message of comfort if it's somebody anybody really even if it's your worst enemy um i think got everyone <laughs> saying that now i'm thinking about like <sighs> dictators and murderers <laughs> i don't know, between them and spirit I don't want to get involved with that. That's probably why I don't do that. So community. Oh, the Ten of Wands. Somebody carried a pretty heavy burden over here. Toil and labor, right? Wow. I'm going this way, though. I'm going to bad health next. Ten of Wands. Talk about carrying more than your fair share of problems. Community. And maybe it did affect your health. But gosh, I hope you're going to be with bad health. The Hierophant. This is a toxic Hierophant card to me right it's like a faceless pope or cardinal or whatever he is with the eye of institution watching over you making sure you follow the book <laughs> you know follow the book you shall cower down to me and i will whip you if you don't <laughs> yeah that would be bad for your health yeah this card this is the first tarot deck i ever got and this Hierophant, I'm glad to say uh, there's much nicer Hierophant cards than other decks I've had since then. But this one definitely speaks of an overly patriarchal, domineering, self-serving Hierophant energy. And that is bad health. <laughs> yeah. There's a sacrifice here. Somebody sacrificed a lot. Coffin. Temperance. I like that. That's a nice card to sit in there. Um, it's like ease of pain. Again, for any of you who are dealing with someone who is very close, they are, this is a confirmation that they are very close. But I mean, honestly, their pain is, 
it's not there. If doctors are saying, I really don't understand why they're not in pain, it doesn't seem like just because they're they're more in the spirit realm than they are in the physical realm. Somebody is passing here. It's beautiful. It's really, it feels good. I would really describe it as that. It feels so good. The way the light is shining in on the coffin and the light is, this feels good. Don't worry about this person. If there is someone in your life that you are concerned about, you know that they've been gravely ill and that they are likely going to pass. They are. Um, but gosh, it's very peaceful. This person will be going into peace. It is peace, peace, peace. Now, <laughs> this is like you and you've toiled and labored somewhere and carried a lot of heavy burden you've sacrificed a lot of yourself to the book that is held by the faceless cardinal with his whip peace peace is your new um rhythm i'm hearing peace is your new rhythm tranquility oh yeah it's even you temperance sagittarius we're talking about you Toil and labor. Why am I looking? What am I looking for? I look, I'm looking for something. That was odd. What am I looking for? Are you looking for something? That was weird. Toil and labor. Maybe it's almost like it's this energy. <laughs> like you can't really see where you're going here. There's so much I'm going on. I can't see anything. Where am I going? Toil and labor. Two of swords. God, it didn't matter which way you turned. There was always toil and labor, or there is always toil and labor. Very hard to tap into your intuition in this state. But it's the one thing you need to rely on. Because everything around you is built up on something that doesn't really support you as a human being. Like as a soul, as a deeper person here. High honor gosh so beautiful what is i mean this is a really beautiful message for someone that is passing it's this person is finding high honor in spirit like in pass passing over somebody has accomplished something here quite honorable this is noted in the heavens this has truly been noted in the heavens. And like, again, moving away from someone who's actually passing away. This is you, Sagittarius. There's something here where you have really, I mean, sacrificed yourself. You've really sacrificed yourself for the community. You have done more than your fair share of what would ever or could have been expected of you definitely didn't receive the same return as what you gave but you know who saw this i mean the universe god spirit that's where this high honor comes from i it, it kind of feels like you probably should have received some sort of high honor you are you are receiving a, a very powerful high honor so what is this expectation the eight of swords see that feels like okay <laughs> because the honor that you're receiving the honor that is bestowed upon you or will be comes from the heavens but this may be something that you don't see until later in life, or this may be something that you don't see until the end of life. Um, I certainly hope it's not that. I hope you get to see it sooner. But what is more obvious to you on the surface of life is the toil and labor, the ten of wands, the bad health, like everything that comes with the sacrifices that have been made, even keeping your own self held back. For the betterment of, it just feels like a community. I mean, it could be your family. You know, this could be um, a parent or somebody who sacrificed a career or um, wanted to make sure their kids had enough money to go to the best colleges or universities and worked overtime a lot 
and missed out on and I want to I want to include that because you know both either side if you're if you're at home more with the kids you are maybe sacrificing a career certain things that you would like to have grown and developed in yourself and then if you're more out in the career you're sacrificing you know how quickly kids can grow up and but wanting to make sure that they had what they needed, you know, like it's just, there's a sense here with Toil and Labor and the Two of Swords that, you know, you really, you held back some of your own success or personal, personal success. Your expectation is not great. <laughs> Eight of Swords. Unless you can feel this change, because there is a change here with Coffin and Temperance. What what happened in the past will never happen again with Coffin. It's very final. It's a bit like the Ten of Swords. And now, like, it's almost as if to be able to freely move as yourself, Sagittarius. If you are feeling that, I feel like your expectation could be things coming towards you that were once closed off or blocked off or inaccessible to you. If you're not feeling this, if you're just like Cindy, I'm still in the toil and trouble, toil and labor. Um, I'm not feeling the high honor, but it's coming. There is something here for you that is coming. It's being delivered to you by the divine. And you have damn well earned it. I mean, I'm just sitting here in this energy and I feel like this is, I don't know. This is this these are the un, this is the unsung hero energy is what's sitting here. Because the unsung hero does not go unnoticed by divinity, by spirit, by the heavens. You know, but they may not get recognized in the three dimension. The King of Pentacles, the one he's all about. This guy's got it all. He's got it all. What's going on? Great fortune, great fortune, child, seven wells, the king of pentacles. Oh, maybe this is your payback. <laughs> maybe this is your high honor. <sighs> Does it really feel like that that would be something that you're looking for with this energy? This is a very spiritual energy. This is somebody who sees reward by, you know, somebody's better off today because I helped them. Yeah, that's nice. So well, let's see where this goes. Mm -hmm. She's so cute. <laughs> the cutest dog ever. She's the best dog ever. She's like the perfect dog. <laughs> I was talking to my mom about that. I see, I've, we've had so many pets over the years. Loved all of them dearly. There wasn't one that didn't have a psychological issue. <laughs> like there wasn't like gnawing on the furniture or peeing all over the house or doing. She really is an angel. Ten of Wands community. Ten of Wands community. We landed on the coffin. That's over. That's over. <laughs> Just to tell you it's over. The Nine of Swords. This is an anxious place. The Eight of Wands where it's difficult to be heard. Because this Eight of Wands, if you've if you watched me enough, you know that in this deck, this is not an easy communicator movement card because the Wands are moving all over the place and there's a tornado that has more control over the situation than the person. So, putting out a lot of storms. Um, having to actually, you know, maybe even, there's a, a sense of taking on a lot here. Maybe even knowing a lot about the people in your community with the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Like, I wish you didn't know that. <sighs> right? This is what that feels like. The Eight of Wands. Well, now what do I say? <laughs> How do I say it? Bad health and the Hierophant. Past commitments may have been not the best for you as well. Commitments from the past. Wow. Ooh, chata. Five of Wands. Seven of Pentacles and the Emperor. You might have had a boss that was a bit of a hard ass. Always changing everything. This feels like dealing with a boss who moves with the wind. <laughs> the changing of the wind. Ah, this. Gosh. 
is a boss, a scenario, a situation that fluctuates with whichever way the wind bl is blowing. Oh, you know, maybe you were that. I don't know. Like you had to. Because <laughs> this is really difficult. This is really difficult energy. The five of wands. There's always a goddamn argument here. <laughs> I'm going to fix that. How am I going to fix that with the seven of pentacles and the emperor? That takes a toll on a person. But that's over. Like this is healed. Temperance is about being healed. Balanced. Putting the past behind you too. I haven't mentioned it in a long time, but temperance is it does have that meaning for me. Um, it, for quite a while it came out in readings, like I would say a couple of years ago. But temperance has always, always been for me as well. And it particularly is showing up here with the coffin card that it is aligning you with a future and you're almost like in kind of a stasis as things come into balance so that the past is... Um, is gone that like if you're walking down a road and you stop like let's say whatever this was you walk out of this place you walk down the road you come to a standstill you literally stand in the road or the sidewalk or you go home or whatever your future hasn't started yet but that road that you walked on it's like it's being ground up it's being ripped up it's being torn up and that that dust is settling and the road in front of you is being paved forward. I mean, that's literally what's happening here with temperance. And it feels very warm and inviting and very nurturing and soothing. Not want for anything as well. This is definitely putting... It just feels like some of you were in the past to rest. And you are no longer that person. I, I really want to say, too, I really feel, this is funny, this came through something similar. I'm almost like a portal here being shown, like this happened in the Libra reading towards the end. And it's like being shown a portal here that I feel like those of you coming to this reading, when you do pass in this lifetime, it will be quite peaceful. You will pass with quite a sense of peace. God forbid you suffer anything, you know, that does give you some form of physical pain. You will not feel that towards the end. Like, I really, I'm seeing peace here. The angels will not let you suffer. Your consciousness will move towards the other side as it needs to. It's very beautiful. It makes me want to go buy my coffin. It's just, it looks so nice. Coffin and temperance. Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Judgment. Jeez. This has a feeling of doing some final things that need to get done before you go on your way. Oh, yeah, there is a little bit of a sense of somebody here is passing, but it's beautiful passing. It really is a beautiful passing. But there's, yeah, there's really the feeling here. I'm almost seeing somebody going through like some drawers. Some drawers and pulling out like old contact forms. Old, you know, just things. Do I keep this? No, I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> Flip a coin, like... It's just also putting things that used to mean a lot, not meaning much anymore. Like that all goes into this coffin. This coffin uh, almost could even symbolize somebody like taking a bunch of stuff and putting it in a box and either burying it or burning it. And almost like some sort of ritual, like I release this part of me. I acknowledge and I honor who I was at that time and I release this part of me. 
and their judgment. Like just, yeah, walking off with the butterflies and the music. Two of Swords, Toil and Labor. Two of Swords, Toil and Labor. Jeez, that's Seven of Wands. That almost feels like people could get physically pushy with you. Where was this? What was this? What is this? Two of Wands, Seven of Wands. Everybody wanted a piece of you. Everybody, I'm saying everybody wanted. I, I keep, when I come over here, I keep kind of saying it in the past tense, don't I? I feel like you're moving over here, though. That's why. It just feels like that to me in this reading. I really feel like you had to be careful of who you could trust here. With the Two of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Toil and labor. Because you put a lot in. People want when they see someone who puts a lot in. Not everybody. People who don't know how to put a lot in. This is a heavy space. This community where you toiled and labor, or labored, the Ten of Wands, the Seven of Wands, the Nine of Swords, the Two of Swords, and my difficult Eight of Wands. You take on more than your fair share of problems you end up knowing more, I think, about people in your community than you'd really rather not know. Which even almost makes it difficult in terms of what you say to people. Almost kind of reminds me too a little bit of, I have a doctor friend, and actually she's a Sagittarius, but she didn't watch, she didn't know that. Um, like, you know, like all that, like even that, right? Like knowing all these things about people. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't need to know that Jane has... Um, I was going to say Jane has prostate problems, but I guess maybe if she, if she used to be he or whatever, yeah. That's funny. Jane used to have prostate problems. That would be knowing more about someone than maybe one I know. But toil and labor, the two of swords and the seven of wands. God, you just keep your head down. Do more than what's expected of you. And be really careful who you trust here. Either you had a boss or you needed to be a leader here where you had to move with the shifting changes of the wind and always having to come up with a new plan. High honor, absolutely with the strength card, for sure. High honor, strength card. Two of wands, the four of wands, the universe would like to make your dreams come true. I love that. The universe would like to make your dreams come true with the two of wands and the four of wands. If there's something that you, there's something here that I feel like you have perhaps wished or hoped for yourself. Um, and that to you would be enough reward. That would be all the reward in the world. I see that here. And it feels like it was something or has been something that has been off limits to you with the Eight of Swords. Expectation and the Eight of Swords. The Seven of Cups, the Strength card. Right, the Strength card is connected to this high honor. When this one has the tornado, when the tornado is calm. So it does feel like whatever you toiled and labored with in life, that you learned a lot through it and from it. And it's actually preparing you for something. There's some skill here that you're going to take forward into your future to receive something that has up to this point been off limits to you. And it is part of the one thing that would be the highest honor, the biggest thank you from the universe would be this for you. I, just, I feel emotional. I feel like I'm at like a wake, but like a celebration of life. But this is, it's like um, your life, some other part of your life that's like it's finished. 
let's look at your underline. Um, I'm not sure, because I want to use this deck in the extended, but you have such a big underline. It's kind of funny I would say that, because it doesn't, the underline, I'm thinking like hips, buttocks. Isn't that um, ruled by Sagittarius, that area? It'd be actually, a couple of Sagittarius guys that I've known in my lifetime have a bit of a hip. <laughs> bit of a robust, developed thigh area. <laughs> Okay, what we're going to do here, I'm going to, um, I'm going to clarify this underline. When I'm finished, though, this reading, before I go to do the extended, I'm taking these four cards and I'm putting them back in the deck. We'll keep these out as your official underline. I'm not funny official person. Great fortune. Great fortune through the child. The lovers. Wow, that's a nice. That's divinely guided. Child. King of Wands. Maybe this child is a little fire sign? Oh, it's you! Is this a wish you've had since you were a child? Something you've been searching for all your life? God, this reading is such a profound feeling to it. Something you've been searching for all your life. Right, Mr. Cuddles? Because <laughs> it's like holding a little bear. And I always say Mr. Mr. King of Wands here. His cat's name is Cuddles. Because <laughs> like a King of Wands would be like a really robust, sexy, virile kind of guy. But his cat's name is Mr. Cuddles. Because, you know, healthy inner child. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Cuddles, what will we do today? That's kind of beautiful. Off you go. Making your plans. Dreaming like a child. Of sudden wealth. Oh, wow. Well, you got the King of Pentacles as the other underline. Sudden wealth. The Knight of Pentacles. You worked for it. I don't know how sudden this is. Because with the Knight of Pentacles and Justice... You earned it. Maybe it does come in suddenly, but you earned it with the Knight of Pentacles and Justice. You certainly did. You really did. A lot of people might see this, well, aren't you lucky? It did. Like, you know how this first started coming out? It's almost like, I don't know, you walk down the mall and somebody wants to use your kid for um, modeling. I would just be really careful with that. Um, but... Like, and then the sudden wealth comes to you. But with a message of concern. Takes you to a pathway of an official person. Message of concern. What, what is, was this message of concern? Or will be? The Ten of Wands. The Page of Wands. Somebody's carrying a heavy burden. Or was it a burden that was added to you? Was it a message that added more to your burden because I already see you you're carrying a pretty heavy burden pathway the Hierophant there we go <laughs> this is a nicer Hierophant though this is not a domineering patriarchal I own you <laughs> Hierophant oh the page of cups see? nice it is nice this message of concern changes things. There's a message here that adds almost to your burden, but yet it puts you on a path to what I feel like is where you're going with coffin and temperance. Coffin, coffin and temperance. So it could have even been information that you gained or a message that you received at some point. And at first, it really just added to your burden. Like, I really don't have time to deal with this. But as time has gone on, this has become the path to peace. And the official person stands at the other side. The official person. 
got Queen of Pentacles. Look, you got the King of Pentacles there. And the Queen of Swords. Well, what is this going on here? Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Oh. This King of Pentacles has got a little bit of toxic energy from that bad hero fan. Devil. The devil. The devil, I tell you. The devil made me do it. The hero fit. The hero fit again. I oh no, the hermit. Why did I call it the hero fit? Because I need to put my glasses on. <laughs> the hermit. The ten of cups. Oh, this is like detoxifying. But that's kind of like what it looks like. You do this is like detoxifying. The King of Pentacles is detoxifying. I would describe what I'm seeing over here as detoxifying too. That would be another way to put it with the coffin. Bad health, coffin, and temperance. Detoxifying. From what I would describe, it looks like a pretty heavy environment. <laughs> Toxic. Detoxifying. Detoxifying towards the Ten of Cups, which is emotional fulfillment. Which, to me, feels like the high honor reward that you would love to receive. The official person, the, with the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Is this someone who goes from being married to divorced? Is this someone who goes from having a business to um, like cutting out a business or... The official person, Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Swords. Tell me more about this. Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Swords. Death card. I don't know who this official person is. It usually signifies like someone who <clears throat> works like for the government in some capacity. It's almost like two sides to a, to a person that are removed. And maybe that's what we're talking about over here for you. Yeah, but there's parts of you being removed here. Psychologically, intellectually, consciously, subconsciously. The five of swords at the bottom after I say like parts of you being removed. It's interesting. Very interesting. Now I know I want to keep these out. We have enough. <laughs> Use that for that. Okay. Okay, Sagittarius. That's your really interesting reading. Really beautiful. Very spiritual. I'm gonna go do the extended, as I said, in that I'm gonna keep using the the uh, still got some cards here for the kippa. I'm gonna see what it says on the other side and get a new tarot deck. And see what the universe wants to talk to you about. Thank you so much, Sagittarius. Until next time, do be gentle with yourself. Bye.